Hi there, Brett Allen from the Brett Allen Show. Nadia Alexander, it's a pleasure to meet you. So nice to meet you. Well, I'm very excited to chat about this brand new project, Not Okay. This is fantastic. I've had the opportunity to watch. And how exciting is it for you to finally have this project out and available for people to watch? Oh, it's incredibly exciting. You know, I I had the great fortune of actually being involved in this project, you know, since its genesis, which was in 2018. So it's four years later, basically, and and actually having, you know, having seen, read the script, read every draft of the script, every version of the script, and finally getting to see the finished product and people's reactions to it has been fascinating and wonderful. Yeah, I would imagine so, because it's very exciting um, and I've had the opportunity to watch just a little bit, and I'm excited. There's a lot happening here, a lot of themes, a lot of different types of conversations being carried on. If there was one thing or one particular area that you would hope that the fans and the people when they watch it have a chance to grasp onto or, or a special message, what would that be? I think I would say uh, it's all in the last scene of the film without spoiling it for anyone i think that scene encapsulates everything that the movie is trying to say and everything about whose stories get told and why um and why we're obsessed with uh people like danny and um you know, again without you know saying too much i think the the person that gets the last word here is the one that we should be paying attention to and i think that is a kind of brilliant Quinn Shepard uh, thing that she likes to do is sort of start you with one character and at the end kind of shift the the lens to the other, uh, to the foil. And I think she does it brilliantly here as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's very exciting and all the congratulations are well-deserved. You've been a part of a lot of great projects and including this one and many others uh, from what it seems that you're very particular about the roles that you pick and the projects that you get involved in. I like to ask this question because I'm very curious, but what was it that in, in becoming a storyteller, what made you go, this is something uh, that I want to do and that I want to be a part of? You know, it's it's interesting because I, I I got into acting at a very young age. I was six. And so I think, I don't know what my six-year-old brain latched onto necessarily um I, maybe just the i just remember a lot of adrenaline like a lot of like the excitement you know i started in theater and so a lot of the live performance and the kind of anything could happen of it all um but i think in terms of as i've gotten older what what draws me to you know the characters i play the stories that i i, I hope i am contributing to telling is the fact that like media can change minds you know yes. i i was just talking about this yesterday in terms of um you know queer visibility and representation as a queer person myself you know i was saying you know let's pour one out for broke back mountain not winning best picture in 2006 because it was too controversial at the time in a way that you know call me by your name certainly wasn't you know not even <laughs> ironically and, and years yeah. later 11 years later i mean when did that movie come out 2017 2018 uh you know and I, I think that the fact that i could i mean obviously on a small scale just anyone just brightening someone's day to me is is wonderful if i can do that as an actor and just give someone some entertainment but i think on a bigger scale being able to be a part of projects that can actually shift culture in a way that makes us more understanding and empathetic um that's what's really special to me about being an actor yeah, I love it. And con again, this is just, I think it's a great film. I'm i am really excited for people to watch it and to be a part of it. Um, again, a lot of things happening. And again, I think the overall arching theme is, you know, just being able to consciously continue the conversation and bring awareness. Uh, and also, you know, and, and fortunately, a lot of stereotypes get attached to projects like this, but really kind of opening that door up and saying, this is just a great film. You know what I'm saying? And there are a lot of important things that we need to talk about and, and having those conversations in an honest and truthful way. And, and Nadia, as always, everything that you do, you do that. Um, I'm happy for you. And uh, I mean, all the best in this. And uh, again, congratulations. I can't wait for people to watch it. Thank you, Nadia, so much uh, for hanging out with us today and, and having a conversation about a great project.
Thank you so much. I am very excited for the world to see it. All right. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day and thanks for your time.